everybody. Welcome to Mark's Remarks. Today I'm going to be making something slightly different, right? It's going to be a sandwich, well, a roll. Okay, I've got some rolls out of the shop. Four, four bread rolls for a pan. Okay, um, it's going to have... Actually, well, this video was inspired by Crazy Red Zero One, who suggested that I use Philadelphia, which I wouldn't normally buy because it's a spreadable cheese and, you know, uh, but I bought it especially for this one, right? Philadelphia soft cheese in a roll and cucumber or crisps is what the suggestion was. But today I'm going to be trying it with tuna fish. And then in another video, I'm gonna, I may try it with some crisps, you know? For just because I mean it's like a hundred, uh, hundred and eighty grams, right? So I'm gonna have to uh, dream up some different uh, different ways of using this. Okay, so uh, all right, I'm gonna cut up the bread and I'll show you what's what. First thing to do, I've cut up the roll in half. I'm gonna put some margarine on here, which I, I don't know whether. It's the thing to do because I'm putting soft cheese on it, but I'm going to do it anyway, you know. All right, it's just regular, the cheapest margarine in the shop, as always. Okay, top and bottom with margarine. Now, I'm going to bust open the Philadelphia. I've never had this before. Hmm, doesn't really smell much of anything. Okay. Actually, I'm going to have a small taste of this. Actually, first impressions, just uh, just taking a little bit out of the, uh, with a, you know. It's got a sharp, a slight sharp, or at least the first one did. First little sample I had was a bit sharp. Second one's kind of um, not so bad. Hmm, it's smooth and creamy. I reckon this might work with the uh, tuna. Okay, so I'm gonna take a big, big piece, spread that on, on the lower half. There you go, I'm gonna put it nice and I'm going to be putting quite a lot of tuna in there. So I'm going to be putting a, a, a good thick amount of cheese, I think. I thought you can't see that over there. i remember not to get my hand in the way. There you go. A good thick amount of cheese. Put the lid on there, I won't be needing that for a few moments. Okay then, next thing to do is to drain, now this is tuna, as you can see, that's in brine. Tuna chunks, there you go, in brine. You can get this with uh, sunflower oil, which I personally don't like because it's real, you know, it's oily. Uh, Maybe somebody could write to what other what other ways you can get tuna. You get it in, in sunflower oil, you get it in brine. If there's a third, let me know. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the open the top. I'm gonna take the top off, put it on. I'm gonna squeeze all the uh, the juice out like that, all the all the brine, it's salted water really. All right, and then uh, we'll go from there. Now, as you can see, I've taken the top off the tuna. Uh, it's pretty pretty wet in there. Okay, so the, but what I do, this little handy hint, I take the lid off fully and then take the lid, put the lid back on and then press down with my thumbs and that'll keep all the tuna uh, in the can while pressing, I don't know if you can see that, pressing all the water out. There you go. It, uh, there you go, and just... just Basically, press the lid down with your thumbs. The liquid ends up on top of the can there because you're pressing it out. And 
then just tip it out. There you go. So depending on how dry you want it, then the, you know, if you want it really dry, then really press the moisture out. If you want some moisture in there, if you don't want it too dry, just don't overdo it. There you go. As you can see, the lid's quite bent and the, uh, the tuna is uh, nice and dry. Anyway, just a handy hint. And it's ready for putting on the sandwich. Here we are. Turned around again, back to the sandwich. Now, take the, uh, you take the tuna, just give it a scrape, you can do this with a knife, fork, spoon, whatever you want, just flake it, flake it up, and then just pour it into the, on top of the sandwich. There you go. You're going to have some over the side, it's all going to, it will tip out, but that's fine, you can um, scoop that up later on. And, uh, There you go, clean the knife. I've got a feeling, I'm going to put a little, what is that? I'm going to put this over. I've got a, yeah, I'll get that out in a minute. I'm going to put a little bit more tuna, a uh, little bit more Philadelphia, rather, on the top half. Because that's a lot of tuna. Although we did put a lot of cheese on the bottom half. I've got a feeling it's going to need some more. Okay. Now, and then you can season this with whatever you like, a bit of, uh, a bit of pepper, a bit of um, whatever you like, a bit of cu you know, other stuff, you can add stuff. But today I'm only using two ingredients, the uh, soft cheese and the tuna. And there we go. Now, here we go with the taste test. Now, I've never had Philadelphia and... Um, I can't even remember the last time I had spreadable soft cheese. So this is going to be something interesting, you know. This is, I'm, I'm sort of making this up as I go along, you know. All right, here we go. Hmm. Right to good. Four little buns in for a sweet. Now the, uh, the cover. Hmm, I'm tasting a lot of tuna. That's my alarm clock. If you could hear that, oh, that was my alarm clock. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm just doing this before I go into work. Doing my two to 10. Um, it's actually not too bad, you know. The cheese is not... On its own, the cheese is, uh, you know, it, it's not too bad. It, had, it was a little bit sharp at first. Um, but quite honestly, I can't really taste the cheese all that much. I can feel the cheese. It's all creamy and mushy and that. Well, but the flavour isn't all that strong, you know. But all in all, it, it makes a nice change from just having plain tuna or tuna with mayonnaise, you know, have some cheese. And also, I'm only using Philadelphia because um, Crazy Red Zero One suggested Philadelphia. But while I was in the shop, I noticed uh, at least two other brands, um, you know, cheaper brands. Hmm. Ah. As I'm getting into the middle of the sandwich, I can taste the cheese more. Maybe it's because it's, th it's a thicker. you really got to put a lot in there. I mean, I put a good thick amount on the bottom, a good thick amount on the top. And, um, you know, and even now it, it's like, you know, it's not overwhelming. you really got to put it in. Don't be stingy with it. Because that, that's my impression, you know, when you're looking at it, you think, right, I'll just put a thin amount, because, you know, but no, you've really got to go a lot on it. A bit like on the ads, you know, when they, on the adverts for this product, they really spread it on thick on the bread. And you figure, well, it's because they want you to use more, but no, you, you need to put it on there too, uh, just to get the feel of the cheese and the, the flavour. Hmm. Yeah, I like it, anyway. 
So enough talking. There you are. Tuna fish and Philadelphia sandwich. If you like that, let me know. Let me know of any other suggestions. What do you put with your Philadelphia cheese? Let me know. And I might give it a go, you know. I'm going to put a couple more suggestions up here for other stuff. Please consider clicking on that, watching some other videos. If you, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe and hit the bell. All right. Thank you for watching.